Now it's time to turn attention to the uh, the tummies. <laughs> it's the attention of all, all of our stomachs. <laughs> Brian McDermott, author of Tiddy Gold Table, is doing the honours today. Lovely to have you in with us again, Thank Brian. You. How yes, are you? Brian. Great, and I've done that as well, Tommy. Yes. Yeah, I don't, yes. Go on. Good man. Is that a lad yeah. thing? I don't know. Squirty cream. If it wasn't bad for the environment, I'd be doing okay, there's it right a lot of, now. There's a lot of Tony people talking about squirter cream. Let's move on with this particular dish. It's intrigued us all because it's quite an unusual one. It is unusual because I'm taking black pudding, so it's a twist on a breakfast, perfect for lunch um, and also good for supper, particularly the bank holiday weekend. So what have I done? I've taken a local black pudding, put it into a blender. So you're not taking it to it's like a patty. You're just breaking it up. Breaking it and remember, up. they've got all the seasoning already in there. So all I'm going to add is some fresh sage that I've... Rob from my garden at four o'clock this morning Lovely. when I left Donegal. So Fair place, yeah. I was out in the dark and I found the sage. Um, beautiful flavour going into it. I, 40 grams of butter. The butter will richen this and it's perfect because what happens is it makes it pliable. Okay. It makes yeah. it work so that we're going to mould it. And then apple. So why apple? Why sage? Because they're beautiful. They've got sour, they've got sweetness and bitterness that works with the spiciness of the actual Ticket pork. all the boxes there. Yep. So I the black pudding. You off air, um, Brian, that black pudding is now a superfood. Well, do you know what? The Irish Times, um, mid last year, exactly, who, who classifies this? Um, but they put it out as a superfood because, you know, it is made from fresh blood. It's pig's blood. Um, and that takes it into very rich in iron, I know. But le let's <laughs> ignore that for a second okay. or two. So what we do is we just shape these into little ball sizes like that. Okay, very Good easy question, to do. Brian, what kind of apple did you? Was it cooking apple that you? No, it there was or? a sweet red apple, and I, I kept the skin on. You can't take it off. So grate it or chop it up. Um, I chopped it. Why? Because I forgot my grater. Uh, <laughs> chopped it. <laughs> so I chopped it up. To improvise. Very finely. Um, so well what, chopped. That'll make about maybe thirty of these, about that size, bite size. Okay. Okay. Chill them. So they just go cold. And then we're going to run them through. So rather than your standard flour, some egg and breadcrumb, it's breadcrumb with some porridge. Um, and I know we were talking Very just novel, a few yeah. moments ago about why the porridge. But if you think of black pudding, it already has oats in there when it's soaked um, yep. and put in. So you're just replicating it on the outside. Plus, it makes it slightly healthy. So two hands. Left hand is always for the flour and the egg. Dip it into the egg with a splash of milk, straight into the porridge, and really that's it. We're crumbing those. Crumbs mixed with porridge. Just porridge oats, yeah. and and they're crumbed beautifully. Get someone to help you. You'll have that Makes done. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I love in the a left and right hand thing because I just end up yeah. with whole cans at the end of it. And a mess. <laughs> just, you have to go in, and everything has just got oats and egg all over the place in the kitchen. A mess in the kitchen. One, two. And then just take some hot oil, and we're going to just drop those in, and only for about thirty seconds or so. That's all it um, takes. Yeah, because what you do then is you slip them into the oven and just let them sit. I think they're perfect Absolutely. for this weekend because you have a group coming around. Yes. Put them out because they're nice dippers as people come into your house. And you know the way they never all come at the time you invited them? Yes. True. So but they never come at all. <laughs> <laughs> that might be saying something about your cooking, Tommy. Kind of yeah. sad, Tommy. <laughs> uh, if you don't have a deep fat fryer at home, can you use oil on the hob? You can. You, can you actually put them straight in the oven. You can put um, a pan and you can shallow fry them, a small bit of vegetable oil, some clarified butter, which basically is just butter like that that settles mm -hmm. yeah. and sits to the top. You use that to clarify. Brown them all around and Higher temperature. The yep. And that'll heat them up. So we're going to see a lovely golden colour on those. And then if we're at home, what I do with those, just transfer them to the oven for two or three minutes. Now, what do we serve them with? Just two or three minutes. Yeah, why, yeah why because at a high heat. Or... You see, black pudding is already cooked. You've got to right. remember that. Okay. People think we've got to cook and bake it. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're just heating it, crisping up the outsides of it and getting a temperature into the inside. Now, again, because they're dipping their hand held, what we're going to do is just... Put these out on a platter with a little bit of either an apple chutney or something like a mango chutney. Something the sweet. Sweets. The spiciness of yeah. the black pudding. Okay. And, and then it's a superfood. It is. No more squirty cream onto the black pudding. Oh, imagine. Disgusting diet, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Good fun, but disgusting. You have no problem eating things in the wrong order anyway. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. You couldn't possibly like not touch dessert first because you know you're having your starter. I often go then. After dessert, back to savoury, yeah. Oh, dear, I, don't dear. Get, I wouldn't get that now for palate. Yeah. Tommy, That's why right. brunch is my favourite ice cream. Why? you got savoury on the outside with the kind of the crumb. But it's a sweet crumb. Is it? Ah. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, he's letting the side down, isn't he? Anyway. Back, yeah. back to the yeah, <laughs> black pudding balls. balls. So when they come from the oven, I mean, look wow. at that. If you were to arrive that at that amazing. platter, um, it's got the chutney. And, and this is what they look like when you have just yeah. deep fat fried them. Crisped up, the porridge goes into lovely crispy oats. So I'm going to let you get a nibble of those. I love your presentation. And it Thank needs you, that touch of green because they are yeah. obviously yellow in colour. 
Am I going to get a blast of heat in the inside here now? You're going to get a nice Thank burst, um, and what happens is they just break Thank themselves you. open. So nice, mm. simple, quick, easy recipe, couple of steps, deep fat fried, oven, and you can have that on the table in about 15 minutes this evening. And you just have these in the they middle for people to delicious. dip in and help themselves. Yeah, and the thing is, do them now this morning, and then just, just cook them in the evening, and you have the prep work done, and they're nice party food. Dip-wise, mm. mango, chutney, yeah. apple chutney, apple anything chutney, like that. Apple chutney, but not a cold apple sauce. Um, I, I personally, I just don't like it, but mm. something a bit sweeter, um, mm. like a mango or an apple chutney. You back later good. on with the main course. Lovely main course, some You're braised beef, so caramelised onion. Gorgeous. They're looking after us. Thanks so, so much. Not so bad working in bank holidays. <laughs> it's great fun so far. Time for another quick break. Up next, we're going to be finding out why a walk is getting half the nation out of their beds at 4am. Darkness into light. See you in a few.